guys, it's Erica and Jess. Welcome back to Twin Aura Knits. We are doing a viewer requested video today. Yes. On drop spinning. We are. We're doing a quick intro 101 of supplies, tools, and other fun things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about what got you into hand spinning in the first place? Um, yeah. My, I, so I originally wanted to learn how to hand spin to do a farm to needle sweater. Um, that was my big goal of mine when I started knitting. So I needed, naturally needed to learn how to spin. So that's why I got, that's why I started knitting or knitting, spinning. That's why I started spinning. That and I saw Amanda Solomon on Christy Glass and I was like, man, her, our, her bats seem so cool and they were limited edition and they were cool things that I wanted to to have and collect and then I was like dang it I really need to get on this so <laughs> how about you I have always liked the idea of hand spinning back in the day there was this woman called Lexi Boger she wrote a couple of books um, but she was the pluck, plucky fluff Mm -hmm. And she did hand spun art yarns and I instantly became obsessed with her crazy wacky hand spun yarns mm -hmm. and at the time I think I was in high school and I could not afford any of her hand spun or really be a part of a part of the community because um, she had a like membership community and I just couldn't do it mm -hmm. um, and it was just, it was just still really inspiring to see like the yarn she was putting out, the the way the people were taking the classes and their yarns. It was just always really neat to me. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of always wanted to hand spin and it was always in the back of my mind. But mm, yeah, always like, just like knitting was kind of always back there that yeah. it was like part of my identity without being my identity yet. Yeah. It just well, it didn't come to fruition yet. It just never was the right time. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, we always took like a bunch of different classes on a bunch of different things. I mean, we went to art school, we took a ton. I, mean, I know we say that all the time, but it's true. Like you take a lot of crafts classes, mm -hmm. you have to be interdisciplinary. So you take ceramics, weaving, painting, you take all of it. Yeah. Um, but sculpture. then sculpture, you learn how to weld, which is so fun, mm -hmm. but we're not talking about that. We never got a chance to learn how to spin. Right. Ever, um, or, or really dye. Um, we did take a course in like, Batiking was Batiking an Indian wax print. Oh, that was that so was fun. fun. But that was really the only dying, and it was through our local museum. Yeah. But nothing, never, ever, no classes on hand spinning, on anything ever. Yeah. Until last year, around this time, good old pandemic time. Yeah. Um, Pre-pandemic. Pre, time. right before pre-pandemic, um, there was one class available mm -hmm. at our local yarn store. Yep. And they were teaching us how to hand spin. And I jumped on the chance. Yeah, me too. I couldn't wait to go. Yeah. Um, Even we, though we showed up late because we <laughs> didn't realize what time it we was. We got the time wrong. Yeah. Um, but it was such an interesting crash course on how to hand spin. Yeah. Um, she definitely gave us to t the tools to get our basics yeah. down. So then if we wanted to know more, she gave us um, resources to do yes. so. Which, which was, was nice. Which was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so... The first thing she sh showed us how to use is a drop spindle. This, so we bought, this was part of our class. We yeah. paid whatever the class fee was and it came with a drop spindle and um, some ounces of roll lag fibers. Or roving. Or roving. Mm -hmm. um, she then proceeded, we, she knew that Jess's goal was to do like a farm to needle um, sweater. Yeah. And she kind of gave us more fiber to play with mm -hmm. and she gave us these really beautiful antique, antique cotton cotton hand carters yeah so I mean it does the job mm -hmm. we've played a lot with them just to kind of get a handle yeah uh, handle <laughs> bad joke <laughs> get a handle on how to um, um, make Rolex mo make Rolex how to card how to card how to make Rolex yeah um, um if you don't have these um, you can use dog brushes from the dollar store are also a good alternative to this. Yeah. Um, um, 
But, but we, so a small little interjection. We have a friend who raises sheep for mm -hmm. meat. Yeah. And she shears them um, as one does. And they just kind of got rid of the wool. They would burn it. They would whatever. And she was, we were lucky enough that she allowed, like she just gave us yeah. wool just to play with. Yeah. We talked to our, I guess you would call her, her our instructor. And we were like, is that good? And she's like, any wool is good to play with. Yeah. Um, that was the advice we got. Mm -hmm. So we got all of the wool that she would give us yeah. just so we could learn to spin. Spin. Not only spin, but do the process, which we have not done yet. No. Um, of, you know. Maybe this summer now that it'll be warm again, thank God. I know. Uh, to card and wash and do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, just to kind of play with. It's just a fleece that we can, if we mess it up, if we felt it, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, it's just a learning curve. It's just a learning curve, and that was like the perfect fleece to, to get. Mm -hmm. But she gave us these so we can learn to card card with those. Um, what else? What other useful tools so, that your lovely sister bought you? Yeah, for real. <laughs> um, because I was spinning a lot. More than me. Yeah, a lot, a lot. Um, for my birthday last year, Erica got me the this Nitty Naughty from... Um, Katrinkles. Katrinkles, thank you. Um... It's nice, it's helpful, it's really nice to when you're done with your, um, I guess your yarn, essentially, your, your mm -hmm. first ply, you can go ahead and put it on your Nitty Naughty, um, because I was struggling using my, uh, what is it called? Swift? Yeah, my Swift. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a whole thing. So, Erica got me a nice Nitty Naughty, it's so helpful. Did we already say it's from Katrinkles? We did. Um, and she also got me, because I was spinning and not knowing... The gauge. The gauge. She got me a... A spinning gauge. A, yeah, a yarn gauge. Um, just so I know what I'm spinning. Because I was like, I don't, I'm spinning all of this yarn, and I don't know what to use it for. Mm -hmm. um, so this way, I can also try to be more consistent in my spinning also. Yeah. So... Yeah, so those are those are all the tools that we have. Yes. That we use. So like these spinning. are these are physical this is like to make yarn. Yarn. Okay, this is like a one time ish purchase thing. Okay. Unless you're extra and then you get two. Yeah, but I mean like you buy it once. Yeah. It's you buy not, it once and it's then not it's not like the fiber that you have to keep buying. Right, right. So in terms of fiber mm -hmm. There are different, I guess, types of fiber. Yeah. And this is all, like, we're learning, so we're learning along with you. Yeah. Um, if it's wrong, that's okay. Let us know in the comments so we can become more educated. Mm -hmm. But this is what we've kind of gathered in our year-ish of spinning. Yeah, and my research. Yeah. Because during the pandemic, when I wasn't knitting, I was learning as mm -hmm. much as I could for spinning. Yeah. Um, just through regular YouTube videos, you know, you piece information, different... Um, websites, different podcasts um, that are really helpful. The one that I really found helpful a lot was the Crafting with Compassion podcast. She's, she that's all she does, really. She's a knitter, but she really just focuses on spinning a lot, mm. which is really nice. Um, she was the one video that I found, she was the one that was washing the fleece, the one gotcha. that I showed you. Gotcha. So that's... That's the one that I, I recommend. Um, yeah, she does mostly, she does do some Turkish, and um, but it's mostly like wheel spinning, but the way she treats her fiber, like she shows you how to treat fibers, mm -hmm. um, that's what I learned the most from, was for those. Gotcha. Um, yeah. All right, so do you wanna get into the types of fiber? I mean, we're not talking like, sheep breed specific no. we're just talking like what you can spin from yes so okay so you can always spin with bats that's what i started with yes. um yes. our favorite is amanda solomon i know um i feel like we we have two modes we have cake wool mode and we have amanda solomon <laughs> mode and there is no in between no but that's okay yeah um she, I really like her stuff because 
I feel like we grew up in the same time period, okay. so um, I'm trying to stop the crinkle. It's so hard. I know. Um, so like this one is Sailor Moon inspired. The one Erica is holding is Reptar, which is Rugrats. I know. So and she does a lot of Disney stuff, which mm -hmm. Disney has my heart. I know. I'm gonna put this um, down now. Yeah. Same. Um. So she does bats, which are really nice. Mm-hmm. Um. To, to, I feel like it's it's slightly easier to to learn how to draft with a bat because it's. It's not compacted the way roving is, um, because this is roving. Oh, I forgot you had that. Yeah, I know. I Jessica, so Jessica kind of had like a moment where she was just buying up all of the spinning stuff. Yeah. And I was just like, nah, girl, I'm good. And now I wish I had bought all the spinning stuff. It's so good. Yeah. Oh, I wish I would have gotten another one of these. The aerial. Yeah. I know. Or even, because like... Hold on, you can't talk when it crinkles. I'm not <gasps> trying. Oh, which one's that one? This one is the Walt Disney World. Oh, yeah. That's nice. So. Yeah, I love it. Um, so yeah, so I was trying to, um... I'm just gonna hold them. They're so nice and fluffy. I think they're Merino. Yeah. Um, well, I was trying to do, because I had, I had another one of hers this one that I'm, I've spun up. Which one's that one? Um, it was called Rocket. I think it was with the um, Beyonce mm, okay. drop. Yeah. Um, when I got my Crazy in Love back. Oh yeah, um, that sounds right. And it was purple and I really liked it. Um, but when I first started I'm doing gonna it. I'm really weird right now. <clears throat> I'm gonna be really weird. I'm Princess Leia. You're so weird. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Sorry, I had to. When I first started spinning with the roving, I didn't realize it was compacted, so I didn't realize I had to fluff out the fibers, mm -hmm. so that's what made it complicated until I did some more research and figured out that you do have to fluff it, um, because I was just used to working with bats, which the fibers are already fluffy for you. Um, so that's a hot take. Hot take. Hot take. So we've um, done bats. Bats, roving, and then there's just regular fibers. Um, oh, I don't have my locks with me. Oh, I think I have locks too. Those are Sailor Moon locks. I yeah. had to get them. Um, there's And then there's different types of fiber. Like this one is merino and bamboo. Um, a friend of mine's mom owns an alpaca farm and she has lots of... Um, Fiber. Fiber stuff. Fiber goodies. So when she was there, um, she was like, you like spinning. My mom has tons of stuff. Let me FaceTime you and then, you know, we can get Just you some stuff. Just basically had like a, a personal FaceTime appointment yeah. to buying all of this cool hand spun yeah. hand spinning stuff. So like, ooh, that's nice too. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it. I liked all of the colors, but then I thought maybe it's a little too much. So I might also get white and do like a unicorno yeah. um, thing with it. Mm -hmm. So it's double plied, so it's this, and then white, so it's less, it's less of a thing. Um, and then there's locks, which I'm not quite sure how to use it. Um, because we drop spindle. Yeah. So, spoiler alert, by the time this goes up, we have already taken the... Amanda Solomon VKL drop spinning two like class and she hopefully is going to teach us how to actually use those on a drop spindle. Yes. Um, um to core spin. Yeah. But I'm pretty excited about that class. Me too. But I wanted to do this before that just so we have information out there mm -hmm. um just to be aware like she doesn't I don't want to say she doesn't really advertise her classes but she does post about them once in a while I just happen to be stalking her website to see if she had any more um, art bats or anything I could buy yeah. because that's what happens it's she's gonna have a drop soon with Sailor Moon and I'm just like I am chomping at the bit I, I am know, me too I can't wait 
I can't wait. Like I am right I now. Will, I will make I will make a thing so I don't miss out like I did for the reptar bats. I know that was a um, good one. That was that sucked. That drop was the best one because I bought the most and I have yeah. now fallen like. It's so easy to fall down the rabbit hole. That's the thing. That's the thing, though. You know what it's I mean? It's so good. You think you're like, eh, because for the longest time I was like, I don't want to spin. I just want to knit. Like, mm -hmm. once I learned how to spin, I'm like, okay, I like this, but I just want to knit for a little bit. No, it's like a and good then, break. Yeah, it is. It's nice to, like, focus on something else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's nice to give your hands a break, kind of. But still do but something. But still do something that you still have a finished product. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like I found it more, I don't want to say it was more satisfying, but I have been doing a lot, a lot of fingering weight mm -hmm. projects. Yeah. And they take forever. Forever. And I'm not saying that because I don't love them. I love how they feel on my body. I love the weight of the sweater. Mm -hmm. I love how it's like a thing. I mean, it is a thing, but like, I love how thin it is and I can wear it pretty much all year round and not have to worry about it. I live by a great lake, if you guys don't know. Um, and it gets pretty cold even in the summer, like in I mean, the summer it'll now. drop. Yeah, I mean, well, it's still kind of fall, winter. Yeah, but it, it looks nice. It does. It's really cold. It's beautiful out, the sun is shining and it is Freeze. 23 degrees. Yeah, it sucks. It is freezing. Um, but we can wear it all year round and I don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. But with spinning, I was able to go through, well, this is a blessing and a curse because I enjoyed it so much. I was able to go through the entire bag, the two and a half ounce bag of fiber. And I was able to, at the end of the day to have a yarn baby mm -hmm. or a skein baby or a yeah. Hank baby. Yeah. Um, and it was just very, I'm sorry, I'm looking down at it, but I want to show you guys later. Yeah, they're good. They're cool. They're cool. I think they're cool. They are cool. They are obviously Amanda Solomon's because we're obsessed. I'm obsessed with how she does her thing. Mm -hmm. I think, I think a lot of people sorry. are obsessed with how, how she does her things because she always seems to sell out. Yeah. Tis true. Tis true. Okay. All right. So. Oh, and then we also didn't talk about Rolags. Oh, yeah, because I don't have any. Do you? I, I think these are Rolags. No, that's robing. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I don't have Rolags, but you can also get Rolags. They are, <laughs> they are like kind of, from what I understand, they are kind of a mix of like an art bat and roving. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, some people take roving, some people take different like locks and different fibers put them together and, and then they kind of like roll, roll it up. up. Um, that's my guess. Yeah, to make different fibers. I thought I used one, but I guess not. Um, we did make our own Rolex, mm -hmm. but I already spun them and they're literally at the bottom of my yarn pile. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I'm not gonna dig them out. I guess we could in a little bit to show yeah. what yeah. it looks like spun up. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you want to show, like, yarn? Yeah, we can. Jessica has way more yarn than me because she started way before me. So these are different. Do you want to link the shops down below? Yes. Um, this one and this one are from the same shop. Um, do you want me to get closer? Yeah. This one's, I believe these are from Badass String. Um, and this one. Okay, so this is the same same bat, same bat, just um, spun two different thicknesses. Yes, one chunky, one thin. Chunky, thin. Yes, because I it's I I was spinning chunky, and then I was like, I just want to spin thin, mm -hmm. just to see if I could. Yeah, I you mean it's I mean? all just learning. Yeah, it is just all learning. Um, and then this was my first one that I ever did. This is, this was my favorite. Can I unroll roll it? Yeah. Okay. This was my favorite. Okay. This was, I, okay. Can I just go on a rant? Yeah. Okay. This is Amanda Solomon's, I think this is Crazy in Love. Mm -hmm. And when I, when Jess told me that she bought it, I was like, mm, really? 
Um, because I didn't get it, right? I was I was still kind of too new to the spinning to understand how it was gonna work, mm -hmm. and I will never doubt Amanda ever again. Yeah, I'm saying it now. <laughs> I will never doubt you ever again because this turned out so beautiful. It yeah. has all of these beautiful, I mean, I love that you can actually see the sparkle. Yeah. Um, there's tons of sparkle. It is bright red. It has bits of purple in it and mm -hmm. I, I love it. And it's double plied. Yeah. My first time double plying. Yeah. And it's I was my just, first time doing anything. Really. I'm going to be honest. When Jessica was like, I'm going to apply it. I was like, no, don't do it. But now that it's double applied, I do kind of like it. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, also, see this is, so like now you're going to see more of our relationship in this kind of video, this this kind of <laughs> style video, because when she did this, I became instantly jealous. Mm. And not, not in a like, I hate you kind of way, but in a, I don't understand how you're doing that kind of way. Got it. Um, Jessica has a way of quietly being better at things yeah <laughs> yeah that's the biggest no 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 it's world. true jessica no. is a better drawer than i am she's true. always been no it's true i'm it's just gonna not. sing her praises for just a second it's she is not. it's true i don't know why she's saying that you should see some of the things that she's painted you're funny her her p disney pin backgrounds i could never do that oh, my brain funny. does not work that way jessica's so much better so when she started plying and she got it so thin i was mad you're funny. It's true. It I wasn't know. like a mad mad. It was no, just a mad. No, but yeah. And then she plied it and it turned out to be so even. Yeah, thanks. It, it's just like even and um, just consistent. You're funny. It's true. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't like attention. <laughs> she doesn't like attention. So I'm, I'm giving her all the attention. So, it's so funny. So when this, when this skein happened, I was like, Damn. Oh, and I was immediately hooked, and I just fought was this so a, much. Was this a bat, or was this yeah. a no, it was row a bat. thing? It was a bat. Okay. Oh, because of the multiple sparkle. Yeah. I love this. Any any little cord that you want to give me, I will gladly take. I know she won't, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm putting it here first. You're funny. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I'm making sure that it's documented. You're funny. It's true. All right, and then... Um, no, that's good. Oh, Okay. And then this one, can I undo this one too? Because this yeah. one's cool. That okay. one was my first art bat. I believe it was from Will Willow Fiber Co. Um, she's in her PA, so she's semi local ish to me. Um, and sh her, like, she, it was look, fast. Like, look and at this ply. Thanks. I like it. Can you? Is it coming in clear? I think so. I think so. It just looks so nice. Thanks. I just, that was my first one that like had all of these other things into it. Um, and I just kind of let it do what it wanted to do. Cause sometimes you just have to, you have to let the yarn decide yeah. what it wants to be. And I really liked it. I liked how it came out. That turned out nice. Thanks. So there's this little guy. I was going to say like, I'm so your hype girl. <laughs> I know you're funny. Oh, and then there's this. One. Ooh, I don't remember these. Those are also from the same shop. Okay. Um. Yeah, I liked that one. It was it. I was spinning it. Was it around Halloween? And I got like um. This reminds me of like the magic carpet from Aladdin. Yeah. I was thinking of the Sanderson sisters. Oh, but... that makes sense. But I think I see this, and I think for a second I thought this was like an Amanda Solomon like Aladdin collection. Mm -hmm. No, but she should do one. <laughs> And then that one was out of my comfort zone because it's pink. And I'm spinning these these big boys up for um, a kaleidoscope. Uh, a Nick Collage kaleidoscope sweater. And then this was also an Amanda Solomon. Did we show this one already? I don't think so. Can I undo this one too? Yeah. So this one is done a little chunkier. Yeah. And this is the same as as this. Yeah. So it's the same art, the same roving. roving. Sorry, see, new. No. But this one is more like chunky mm -hmm. hand spun, and this one's super thin. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I kind of really like the thin stuff. Me I'm too. just not good at it. You'll get there. So I have been hand spinning just a little bit. Um, 
if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this baby skein, but this is, this is just single ply and I, okay, I know that people are going to be like, oh, that's too whatever and that's fine. Um, I know that I overspun it, like I over twisted it. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I like the texture. It makes me so happy. Yeah, it's okay. all it's all for you. Oh, I know. But like, so like it is. Which one is that one? This is Lunette. Okay. So this is um, from the big comfy from couch. the big comfy couch collection. This was this color just spoke to me, and I just love Lunette. She was the best. She was. There was that. And then this one, you guys are going to see it here probably first. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this is the Spice Girls ba art bath that I, I bought. Know. I'm so mad that I didn't get one. I am obsessed. Yeah. It's so good. my plying, my spinning is totally different than Jessica's. Hers is like more uniform and it's like... But also I've been doing it a little bit longer. I know, than you. and it's kind of so much better than mine, which is fine. That's not true. But I kind of like like this like really like chunky, awkward, twisted, bohemian, mm -hmm. like very like Yeah, I mean like bohemian ply. Yeah. That's going to I'm going to call it the bohemian ply cuz it's over twisted. And I kind of like that. I like the colors. Like, yeah, even though it's single plied, I like the colors, like, being twisted in. You mm -hmm. can see it, like, there. And I really, like, that for me is, like... I feel like you're going to, like, core spun better than plying. You would think, but mm, I don't know. We'll see. I feel like you might. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Just because that's kind of like the look that it has. I know, but I like the look without doing that. I guess. Because why would I do that if I can just do this? Right. You use less material, so then you get more yardage. That's true. That's why. Um, but I'm not plying this. This is just gonna be a single ply. Right. But because you're. It's okay. I'll find out at the class. Okay. Right. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm excited? I am excited. I am excited. I've been trying to watch videos, but all of the videos for spinning core spun is, is on a wheel I which know. I am not about to get so right the now. fact that this is so. like a intro to drop spindling part two situation mm -hmm. I'm excited it's gonna be good I'm excited yeah. I'm like I'm excited to take a break from knitting a little bit and uh, spin up some stuff and spin mm -hmm. up some stuff yeah yeah um, I'm like um, I do have to get more I have to go to the yarn store and get um, some roving to spin up for the class. Yeah. Um, I might get another one. I might get another drop spindle if she has it. I'm sure she does. Because I want to start spinning this. It's so nice to have like an extra extra ones. Um, just because, you know, like I still have a couple of stuff, a couple of rovings, like fluffs, fluffs left, floofs, floofs. I have a couple of floofs left um, to do this, and like the thing is, it's like I love it so much that I'm just trying to savor it. Mm -hmm. But I also want to get it done, but I also don't want to get it done because yeah. I want to savor it. So there's that. Because I don't know, I feel like I'm also gonna ply this one up. Sorry. And it's like no. I love a I love a single ply. I'm a I don't want to say I'm a single ply girl. I just I want... do like the look of her double ply and. Again, did you see the face? I made a wrinkle face because she said the same thing to her crazy in love one, yeah. and I was like, no. And now that it's been a couple of months since that, I feel okay with the decision she has made. <laughs> I'm okay with the decision she has made. I just like to, I just like. Oh, no, don't double fly it. Yeah, I, I think I am. No. Because I want to see the different shifts in color when it's plied. Mm, that's you know what fair. I mean? Yeah. So. That's that's where I'm at. Yeah, I mean, and it's not like I don't have a ton of other stuff either because I still have. I know all but of that's the so all of the good. mini bats. I know that I got for the advent I calendar. Forgot. I forgot. I regret not getting that. Oh, next. But I had year too many on. already. Next year it's on, like Donkey Kong. If she gets, if she does them again, you're buying all of them. I'm. I might. I might buy all of them. Yeah. I'll get. I'll get. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because those were fun. Yeah. You know. They were really fun to look at. 
I can't wait to spin them. I just, I don't want to not, I just want to have a project can specifically just, in mind can we for just, them. Can we just do, like, every time you spin a bat, you have a different pair of mini ears on? <laughs> yeah. Can we, like, do, like, a YouTube video where you're spinning with your mini ears and you're like, this is the blah, 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 blah. We can, yeah. I like, like I don't have enough mini I ears. I know, and you can borrow some of mine. I have yeah. a classic mini ears. Ooh, classic mini ears. Oh, I miss, I should bring them out. They need to be part of my decoration. Yeah, really. Mine are, mine are yeah. behind my statues. <laughs> Sorry. That was... But yeah. So I know we had a question on how to double ply with a drop spindle, and I'm going to defer that to Jessica. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I get there. Oh, that's not a problem. That'll be a part two to this video. Jessica double plies so beautifully that I've learned from her. She taught me how to do it. Yeah. And um, mine didn't turn out as well as hers. It's just consistency. Yeah, but I'm not, cons as you can see with my over-twisted. I mean, my first one wasn't that great either. I know. But, YOLO, I still made it into a hat, so it's whatever. That's true. So. I'm like, but these are like, these I don't know. Babies. So these are like my yarn babies. Like, they're my, like, I kind of tried to do the Amanda Solomon style texture with my single ply mm -hmm. and I feel like I achieved that mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that makes me happy yeah um this is like a small infomercial for Amanda Solomon sorry not, not sorry <laughs> but also yeah I don't know I like spinning because everybody else that I've seen spinning like from moon and yarn yeah to um all of these other people that I that aren't popping up in my head because I know them through Instagram, but I don't know them. I know. Because um, I follow, I actually follow the hashtag hand spinning. Um, I just love how individualistic mm -hmm. each one of our hand spuns are. Yeah. Um, it's really neat. This morning I was going through um, Instagram and I found someone else who bought a Reptar bat and their hand spun looks totally different than anything I would have ever done. Yeah. So it's interesting to see even that, like you get the same product, mm -hmm. but because it's our own personal hand, like doing it, it totally looks different. And I'm sure yeah. she used a wheel. Yeah. Um, and I'm not going to use a wheel anytime soon. Yeah. I know. That's a like, maybe future purchase. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I'm just enjoying this drop spindle thing it's too much. It's nice. It's, I feel like you can, you could take it with you anywhere. You could. I mean, you could. Um. I don't think it, I mean, like, some people say it's just as portable as knitting, but I don't know if Not it the is. way I spin. Yeah, no, I like to spin a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm like, I can't just stop in the middle of no whatever to answer a phone call. I also don't feel comfortable taking it to the beach. Yeah, me either. Which is what we would probably be doing a lot this summer. Yeah. Or hiking. Yeah. yeah. You know, I want to see extreme spinning so like if you <gasps> go somewhere we should do that if you go somewhere and you spin i want to see it tag me in it <laughs> yes for real i want to do that we should do that S spinning on the side of a cliff i know no, that will never happen no. i'm too i'm too afraid i couldn't even get super close to the edge of the of the grand canyon because <laughs> that was scary so we this is a quick story time it has nothing to do with spinning but for our, what was it, 26th birthday? 25th. We went 25th, 26th birthday. Yeah. So a couple years, like years ago now. Um, we went to the Grand, we went to Las Vegas and Grand Canyon um, for our birthday mm -hmm. as a trip um, for our birthday. And we ended up at the um, Grand Canyon West like walkway. So it's like the this, skywalk. The skywalk. That's what it's called, the skywalk. And no. I am. Definitely afraid of heights. Terrified of heights. And we yeah. tried to do this thing where, like, yeah. it's it's called immersion therapy, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, the more you do it, the less of fear you get. So, yeah. like, we tried to go to... The highest building. Yeah, we've been to the Empire State Building and tried to look down and, like, stomach turning and going to the John Hancock Building and looking down and going to the CN Tower, and that was paralyzing. That was scary. That was, pretty, <laughs> that was scary. The glass elevator to go up... Was terrible. Was intense. <laughs> but I was okay. I kept it together for y'all. I know. This was... <laughs> And it, that was an intense experience. It was. Nothing as intense as this. No, I couldn't even make it on. So, when you, like, it's like a, 
process. So you get your ticket and you go to the thing and because we did like a tour situation, like the ticket was included, thank God. Mm -hmm. um, but they're like, okay, so you need to like take everything off, like no like cell phone, no this, no hat, no whatever, because it can become a projectile if you accidentally drop, drop it, it off the side. Right. Okay. Because yeah. you are so high up. Yeah, but the way it looked, it didn't look that no. high. No, because it's just like, it's like off of the cliff, like this much. Yeah. And it's just overhang. Yeah. So like, I get, they, you know, they give you booty so it doesn't scratch up the glass and whatever. Oh, and the struggle, man. I'm just like, you know what? I'm we're going to do it. We're, we're just going to do it. Yeah, we're just going to walk out. We're going to walk around and we're going to come out the other end and we're not going to look down. Yeah. <sighs> no, that didn't happen. Um, I put on my booty my booties to cover my shoes yeah and Erica the was in first front of me. the first step not on purpose but I looked straight down with my foot on the glass and I panicked yeah it was bad um the guy had to literally like physically move physically her. move me out of the way because I was paralyzed with fear yeah um so I don't know if extreme knitting off a cliff is gonna happen <laughs> Or extreme spinning off a cliff is gonna happen. Yeah. Because we are both paralyzed by it. Yeah, that. it's pretty bad. But that was fun. <laughs> it was a good trip. It was a good trip. That part was just like the worst five minutes of my life. I know. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was good. That and the airplane ride, but that's fine. <laughs> Ugh, it's the worst. But yeah, it was good. I'm like, I know that has nothing to do with spinning, but I hope you enjoyed our personal moment. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> that was such an intense All right. trip. All right. So I know that like we have more, like I'm sure you're going to have more questions about things and stuff, but um, we might do like a clip, like a, like a mini like clip on how we like. Oh, like a mini tutorial later yeah, on. Later on, on hand spinning. Just like the, the 101. Yeah. This is like the intro syllabus of like a class. Class. Yeah. All right. So this is it. With that being said, we are off. <laughs> yes. Um, you can find Erica <laughs> at I am Waffle Belgium on Instagram and Ravelry. I am it's underscore Jess underscore Bell on Instagram and Indie Dash Darling on Ravelry. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be there chilling like a villain. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'll try to, uh, I know we say this all the time and then I slack and then I never link anything underneath, but I will try to link everybody that I've bought from mm -hmm. or people that I plan on buying from, like Pearl Scout Yarns is now doing roving, roving, which I think her update went up yesterday. Um, so I want to get some of her Sailor Moon roving. Um, mm -hmm. And um, and the Knitting, Comp Knitting with Compassion or Crafting with Compassion podcast. Because that's where I got a lot of my information as well. Yeah. Um, so I'll do my best to link those below. And uh, I guess we will see you next time. Same knitty time, same, same knitty, knitty channel. channel. Bye, Bye guys. guys.